Hi, I'm Congressman Denny Heck, and welcome to the seventh episode of Constituent Mailbag, the time during which I try to answer the most commonly asked questions I get, either a phone call or email or letter. And this week's letter comes from Tom in Olympia, who's understandably worried about the future of the Affordable Care Act after a federal judge in December ruled the law unconstitutional. And here's what he writes. My family receives its health care through the ACA. Tens of millions of others do as well. So please, 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 we have no faith in the Supreme Court to rule for what's right here. Please do all you can to change or rescind the Trump Tax Act and save the Affordable Care Act. I want to start by thanking you for writing me about this issue, Tom. But before I go further, let's be real clear and assure everyone that your 2019 coverage will not be impacted while this case makes its way through the courts. And I agree with you, Tom. This decision is legally absurd. And if it goes into full effect, its impact would be devastating. I'm glad the House took important steps to protect the Affordable Care Act just right when we gaveled in last week. And I'd like to take a moment to share more on that. So for background, this lawsuit was brought by 20 state attorneys general in reaction to the tax bill's move zeroing out the mandate to carry health insurance. And the Trump administration joined these attorneys general in claiming that the ACA and its protections for people with pre-existing conditions were unconstitutional. The federal judge agreed, unfortunately, and ruled the entire law un invalid and somewhat inexplicably. You're right that if the judge's ruling takes effect, the results would impact millions of Americans like yourself who rely on the ACA. Fortunately, the House and other states are challenging this decision. On the first day, the very first day of the new Congress, the House passed a resolution giving preliminary approval to its attorneys to enter the case and defend the ACA. I was proud to support that measure on the House floor. Shortly after its passage, the House attorneys did in fact go ahead and file papers to intervene. Now also last week, Washington State joined 15 other states and the District of Columbia to file an appeal challenging the court's decision. This case will play out in the courts and I will closely monitor its every twist and turn and there will be some because this is an issue I care about deeply. And frankly, I'm glad to hear that you do too. You can count on me to fight in Congress to defend the Affordable Care Act and the comprehensive coverage it extends to families like yours and its life-saving protections for individuals with pre-existing conditions. So thanks again, Tom, for writing in very much. And thank you all for joining me today. I appreciate it. Please, as always, feel free to write or call or email me about other concerns as I continue to have the honor to represent the people of the 10th Congressional District of Washington State. Thank you.